Hello everyone, I'm Revolutionary Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich, playing as a national revolutionary government. So, last time, um, we basically were forced to be at peace with the reformed government of China, in which they didn't want to give me my deserved land, so I just took them, as well as Beijing, whatever, 100, 108 factories for now. Uh, that being said... I want to address a few comments here in the beginning. We're going to let time go on just a little bit, just a wee bit. But, uh, does anyone, uh, you guys go ahead and train. I doubt they'll attack me. They don't really have any war goals against us for now. Go ahead and start training a little bit more. I'm okay with that. I want regular divisions. So, ooh, we got Coast Guards too, which actually are okay. They're not great divisions. They're okay. Um, so, some people want me to join several factions. One person wants me to join the Pacific States of America, which... Wait, you know, oh wait, Pacific States, there you are, market liberals. Mm, that doesn't make too much sense, but it could be worse. We might be able to, maybe in the end, perhaps, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> New England, federal government, American Union state, well, this part of the country. And someone else wants me to join the Entente. I'm not going to say no, we have a non-aggression pact, we have similar ideologies, so... Maybe. Maybe I'll join the Entente, maybe I'll join the Pacific States, maybe the Pacific States will join the Entente, I don't know. But anyways, uh, second thing I want to do is tell you why I've left Hunan here. And this is much more important, because I can't go to war with them if I wanted to. War, you know, world tension is only at 53%. We need 75%. And earlier in our focus tree, we could take support of the KMT in Hunan. But um, we can't negotiate with Hunan. This decision will only show up once we've completed the first Congress, which we've done. And there's a bordering aligned tag for us to negotiate with. Um... Not really sure where that is. So, and then uh, this other United Southern China. Oh, second na National Congress. United Southern China. Prepare for war against the Hunan clique. Which, for some reason, we can't do either. But anyways. With key cities such as Beijing and Nanjing under our control, it is now time to convene a second Congress and discuss new important issues. Many prominent members of the party have, have convened to discuss all matters of the state and organize the Kuomintang into the true power in China. Subjects such as our position in China and the fate of our wartime policies will be discussed in length. But I do want to let you know I need to prepare potentially against, of course, Hunan, but definitely against McLeek. They're not our puppet. They're still an independent faction, which I don't like. So we got to make sure we know what we're doing with them. Go and throw one of these bad boys on there. This will help convert stuff a little bit easier when we actually convert our divisions. Uh, that being s oh, the question of taxes. The KMT has imposed some fairly high taxes since the first Congress, despite promising not to. This was hidden by the fact that the KMT wasn't in a good position at the time. Now, but with our capture, though, of both Nanjing and Beijing, the people have seen that they are not necessary anymore. We can either ease the taxes a little or keep them in place for the time being. Uh, we must ease their burden. We are still in a dangerous position. We get more war support. I don't need more manpower, really. Even though we are demobilizing just a little bit. I don't mind easing the burden for more stability. That sounds kind of good. Um, we can integrate a bunch of provinces. We can improve or industrialize uh, the country, which I think it would be really good. Ooh, we can get more popular support. Um, I mean, yeah, we could choose stuff that help us research things faster, which is always good. Manufacture. I'd probably get China National Aviation instead of Central Aircraft Manufacturing Company. Formation of a permanent capital. With many key cities secured, we plan a future event to discuss where the permanent capital of China should be. Many people brought this up as it is an issue of great contention with arguments to move the capital to the newly captured city of Beijing or even to Wuhan. The birth of the revolution. The birth of something else, too. Cool. Awesome. National Revolutionary Army. Not too bad. Oh, we lost a factory. Keep building up infrastructure. Keep building up civilian factories. That's very, very important. We're out of artillery, which... Uh-oh, the all States ultimatum. Finally, finally, the world is on a precipice. Thank God. Uh, go ahead and build one of these bad boys around here somewhere. 40% uh, looks... Oh, Baoding. It's only one factory, but that's okay. Keep doing that. And will you explode or will you give up? Nope. The reintegration of the north. Good. The KMT's influence in the north of China has always been minimal, so we must make an effort to bring the various warlords here under our control, perhaps even give them a show of force. Some ministers brought up the possibility of securing parts of East Asia and even Russian territories, whilst they were laughed at the idea of securing foreign territories to make sure imperialist influence doesn't spread to any other of our neighbors is somewhat something to consider. Oh, we can do the next focus down here. Down here. Hmm, eventually. 
integrate aligned tags into our nation. The Republic of China has been proclaimed. Oh, it is laggy. Holy cow, what is going on? Austria immediately intervenes in the Second Velt Creek. It wouldn't be a Velt Creek without them. Uh, well, I mean, you haven't formed any real nation there yet. Oh, the Second Velt Creek. War is hell. We have a bunch of people as your allies, of course, naturally. Oh, there we go. 100% world tension. And they went with the status quo, which is really disappointing. I really hate that. I so wish that this part of the tree would actually get formed. Like, seriously? Like, can we please have the dualist mo dual monarchy come back alive? Like, please? Thank you. Um, but right now... Is there anything else I can do? War propaganda gets the communist front Against them? I mean, yeah, we're a social democracy. Yeah, we're not radical socialists. We're just... Uh, well, okay, well, you know what? We are social, social democracy, whatever. Alright, whatever. Who cares? Now, how much do they like us here? Oh, I guess not too bad. The end of the Congress. With the key cities of Beijing and Nanjing under our control, we can now prove to the rest of the world that we are the legitimate government and that they should support us. Now, with the northern expedition over, it is at last our turn to play the role of Beijing government. We will proclaim to the world we are officially the Republic of China, which will conclude the Congress. Oh, okay. I mean, they're not dead. They're quite literally not dead yet. They're the reformed government. We're just the Republic of China. Okay, then. You know what could happen? What would happen... If I were to say Yamoto Hotel Licenses, what is that? They're building hotels? Do they have a booming tourism industry? There it is. Oh, uh, that's interesting. You know what? Wuhan, or not Wuhan. Well, actually, do we have Wuhan or is Wuhan down here? Uh, I don't know my Chinese geography that well. I'm going to pull these guys off the, the border. How long would it take for me to kill off Hun Hunan? Um, they don't have a lot of divisions. Actually, this would be pretty darn easy. How long would it take me for to justify? A couple months. That's not bad. Let's go ahead. Uh, I could build up myself more, or I can invest. Aircraft, tanks, we're not really going to focus on. Ship designers, not bad. Sub submarines, destroyers are okay. Cruiser stuff, that's good for producing light cruisers, but yeah. Ooh, naval bombers. I love naval bombers, but fighter stuff? Carrier fighters? Let's see. Do I want to boost up? Just fighters and carrier fighters, which I really won't use that many carrier fighters. Fighter production. Or do I want to use naval bombers and carrier naval bombers? You know what? Naval bombers are a little bit more niche. A little bit more niche than fighters. I just want to use fighter stuff. Let's do that one. And then I'll boost up my industry quite a bit more. And just in case these guys want to attack me, I'm going to go ahead and deploy... I won't deploy you guys immediately. Well, actually... Hmm... No, what do that? Why not? Republic of China proclaimed. Our flag will soon fly from Kunming to Fengjing. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and deploy you near Beijing. You're going to go ahead and exercise, though. And you shall be under... Uh, Sun Liren. Oh, no. Luo Binghui. Hello there. Train and greatness. Now we have a massive deficit of artillery. Oh... That does not feel good. And Bulgaria joined... Oh, Bulgaria joined the Reichspact, huh? Interesting. Interesting move. Now, they do have to contend... Everyone here has to contend with a full Italy. That's pretty strong. Well, as long as they have enough, you know, core territories. Is this core territory of Italy? No, it's not, which is not good for them. Neither is Rome. And the Reichspact does have all of the low countries here, so... That'd be quite interesting, right? In Strasbourg. Give me just, please, one moment. My cat wants to come in the room. Whatever. Oh, artillery. Good. Just in time for me to ruin my production supply of artillery. We could get motorized. That's pretty important. Field hospitals. That's kind of a joke right now. We're playing as China. Yeah, we're demob... Oh, we're no longer demobilizing. We still have over a million guns. Or a million man power, I mean. Good. Qingtao MP18. Awesome. Industry. 1939. Extraction would be nice. I want to do fuel storage eventually as well. But it's almost 1940. Let's get some radar. I think radar could prove to be very, very useful. I'm not going to switch this out yet. Or the guns, too. I want to make as many guns as I can right now. That'll be important. You guys are training. Awesome. we got a little bit more army XP. Our current army reform will help us get rid of the 45% minus debuff from 
start of the game, which is good. We get about how much political power a day? 1.23. Awesome. Oh, yeah, we cross the Dai River. We can fight the government to the north if we want to. We can choose the Republican capital then, and then build the National Mausoleum. Reintegra reintegrate Northern China. It's not a bad idea. Can't do anything about Southern China. Dare to Die Corps. Not bad. <clears throat> Provincial Legislative Yon. Ethnic Autonomies. If you choose the right focus based on the plan, it'll increase the popularity of Zong Te Ju. Unitary Government. Uh, I like the Unitary Government, though. And recognize Urban Syndicalists. Hmm. We could reintegrate them. It's just a good idea. So then we can restore sovereignty over Tibet. Secure the Northwest. Retake Outer Mongolia. And gives us options for us to choose soon. And yes, I do really want to choose this. Uh, I guess in the meantime, we can actually choose this just because the other focuses, we can wait on that immediately for now. So private landlords control the vast majority of China's arable land. And as such, or as Black Monday's financial after effects worm its way into the Chinese economy, tenant farmers suffer from ever higher land rents. Rather than a more complicated process of regulating land rent rates, the KMT should instead seize the land of the largest landlords in the liberated regions and return it to the farmers. Yes, that's right. Give me your lands because, yes. Oh, we need 40 political power to do this. We get more war support. Annex Gorgul against the reformed government of China, which, actually, I'll probably do that last. I want to get all of regular China under me first, including East Turkestan, the Kumul Khanate, Mongolia. I think that would be pretty nice to do first. Before we try to pick a fight with the fake Chinese, or the, uh, the Manchus up here. They don't have a ton of divisions, which is fine. Because we killed quite a few divisions last time. They have a very illegitimate government. And they're basically ruled by Japan. Who's currently fighting other people? What is that? Burn to Ash Strategy. Oh, they have a lot of divisions. About the same amount of manpower-ish. Tsardom restored in the Russian Republic. How long will they last this time? But they are fighting the Entente. Let them kill each other off a lot. That's fine with me. German East Asia. You probably don't like us that much. Yeah, you really don't. Nationalized German businesses. Well, boo-hoo. A fleet backed by colonies. Oh, whatever. Let's see, how's this going? Well, it looks like... Well, Socialist Republic of Italy has taken one piece of territory. Uh, the land war hasn't really changed too much. The CN... TFA. We, we don't really like you. Do we like anybody? We like the Kingdom of Spain now. This is weird. I really wanted to play a really leftist China in the beginning, but... Oh, well, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Francisco Franco Bahamonde. <sighs> How much longer do I have until I can go there and hang out? Oh, I got a long time. Let's go help out the stupid uh, people down there. Spanish people still in their civil war. God, come on, guys. Even the Chinese got out of our war faster than you guys did. But we're, we will be happy to help you. There you go. And they will allow us. Do we have any planes? I think we should be able to send some planes. Ooh, bombers. How many planes can we send? A total of... Oh. Not sure how many. 50. Okay, that's not bad. 50... Send all the planes there. Or really right there. 50, thank you. I'll go here. Southern Iberia. Wow, it's really laggy. Holy cow. Can I not come here? Oh, no, wait. Hold on. I have to redeploy. But I do have a cup of revolutionary coffee here, too. Hmm. Pretty good. You know what? It even tastes better having coffee with my Kaiserreich mug from the Kaiserreich a store those things aren't aren't cheap though hmm but let's go and do Seville if that's where the armies are at that's nah, mostly located located in central Spain central Iberia so deficit right now we're doing really well on guns roughly a hundred a day almost five pieces of artillery every day actually a little bit more than five which is awesome we're building up a lot of infantry we might want to consider building up some more bigger units Big, chunky units. Now, let's double check again. Where can we build the most factories next? Three over here. And Daming. Or Daming. Three in Daming. Here in Daxian. Three. Oh, how about here? Ganan. Build it up in Ganan. Then there. And then right there. Good. 
And go ahead and for now, for funsies, go to more military factories there. Cool. McLeek. What are you what are you doing, McLeek? Connecting Qinghai. Oh, you have both Tibet and Mongolia as puppets. That's interesting. The Han Hui cooperation. I would love to be able to just peacefully integrate you into my country. I think that'd be great. Um, but I don't know if you can. I don't know if we can. All right, so the Chinese have arrived to help out in Spain, which is a really weird thing to say. Uh, sure, you look good. Fun. Welcome back. Where, can, where do you need help? Probably close to... Uh, Madrid. Probably. Planes. Hello. Welcome. Oh, oh, you're not there yet. Even the infantry showed up faster than planes. Hmm. I wonder if they took a boat all the way to Spain there. And come on. Where are you? An Aladus. There you are. And I want you to come to Madrid. Uh, is there any air battles going on? No, you can do Northern Iberia then. You should maybe find something around here though, right? No? No? Come on, man. Find some enemy planes to make him go kaboom. Oh, wait. We weren't doing that here. Now we found some enemy planes. There you go. Even scramble them even more. Beautiful. 0.95. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Ah, regimental combat teams. Very nice. More soft attack. Let's grab some mechanized offensives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're actually you're pretty defensive right now. What if I told you instead to go right here? Are you getting attacked or are you attacking? I think you're getting attacked. Nope. Alright, well, whatever. Wait, we're on the same side as the Russian Republic. This is going to be weird, because I will try to take out Russia in this campaign. Um, Northern Expedition. Hey, yeah, I want to save that kind of for last. I could integrate more provinces, but I do want to wait a, just a little bit longer so that we can get, like, Ghanan New Deal decision to integrate Chinese provinces as core states. Makes it cheaper, as well as... I think there's another one, too, somewhere. Not really sure. But whatever. Let's go ahead and integrate or industrialize some various areas. Hey, B? Hey, bye? Yeah, we'll lose some manpower. Whatever. For a little bit. No problem. Improve our support? I think that's a good thing to do. Let's improve our support as well. We'll get more stability out of that, which is nice as well. Um, are the Russians winning? They might be winning, actually. It's weird fighting on the same side as Russians and Spanish monarchists. Never knew the Chinese would get, really get involved. Ah, expropriate landlords. Holy crap, they've already capitulated? That's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, next up, uh, land use tax, you get... Ooh, low popular support. Ooh, that's not good. But we get land use tax, which is nice. Let's go ahead and grab... Reintegrate Northern China. And which will get a little bit more stability, war support, and integrate aligned tags into our nation, which we might use with Hunan? I don't know. I really don't know. What is the strength of all these Spanish factions? Zero. Zero. Oh, you actually have quite a bit. Actually, you know what? I can send volunteers to America. I kind of want to wait to see what happens. The American Union State isn't really doing well. But they kind of like us. What? You like us? But so does the Pacific States. Hmm. Being a social democracy is really interesting. The federal government really doesn't like us. I could help out the PSA, but one nation at a time. I don't want to be on a two-front war. That's always annoying. Actually, what are your, I didn't look at your um, manpower. Wait. Wait. Okay, I thought it said I could declare war on them for some reason. Cool. You're running out of manpower. You have way more manpower than Hui Long. And you have some manpower. Hmm. Alright, well, we helped win there. That was very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, what you might be able to do, actually, is cut off... Right there. Or if we really want to plan something like that. Cool. Fine. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Even those Russian divisions don't look really good. If you can attack here... Oh, there's two divisions there now. Oh, but they're kind of weak. Albania has... What's going on? Uh, we're not... Oh, we might be winning, maybe? Maybe not? No, probably not. Let's see what happens. How did Albania fall out? They fell to the Union of Britain. This is... This is interesting. This is very interesting. You're getting navally invaded? 
by the Union of Britain. Of course, they're pretty close. I mean, the Union of Britain is actually pretty good at naval invading areas. We're so far winning here, which I'm fine with. You know what? Let it be a slow burn. I could use a lot of army XP still. I mean, we have more than enough things being produced to cover up any costs that might result. That's okay with me. And what is the Russian Empire doing? Educating the masses, huh? National Armored School. Interesting. They got a lot of manpower, but uh, we'll see what happens. A constitutional monarchy. That's not going to last very long. It seems like you're r running really behind, though, Russia. On um, You've developed this quite a bit, though. Like, your focus is, like, for Europe? Like, it's 1930, 1940, actually. Happy 1940, everyone. I'm kind of surprised you haven't done too much else. There goes Liberia. Like, Far East Direction, Central Asian Direction, Middle East Direction, Join the Entente or Form a New Global Alliance, the Caucus Direction, European Direction. Like, huh. That's all I gotta say is, huh. Uh, not bad. Not that many more divisions still. We still have, like, 30 days left to we go to war with those guys. Nice, we took the province. We're getting attacked in... Reserves or getting attacked in the back, whatever. And we'll make sure that this CNT FAI division goes bye bye. Oh, it's two of them. Nice. Let Anatoly Rogozin do his business there. Um, what's next? Norwegian. Good God, Norwegian Union is gone as well. Um, I could integrate one of these provinces. I don't really want to integrate something that's pretty small, though. Or I could save it. I could probably save it. Let's save it. Save my political power as much as possible for now. You guys are doing alright. Help keep attacking. Doing really well on weaponry. Fine, you're becoming an infantry leader as well as Wang. Very nice. You're becoming more and more experienced. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, France pretty much at a standstill. Reintegrate northern China. Could use land taxes. Dare to die, core. Fate of the legations. Well, we don't want to do that yet. We can repay the syndicalists or an independent foreign policy. Betray the syndicalists? Well, I don't want to do that yet until we get down to here and see what I do recognize them or all china national labor syndicate unitary government provisional more stability plurality popular support i want to do this stuff though oh i need to complete these focuses i need to do the provincial legislative yawn first to do stuff like this so that's what we're gonna do next then oh the mausoleum oh electronics so, while China isn't anywhere ready for full elections, the national government needs to begin forming the institutions that democracy will one day make its known or make its will known through. Throughout, perhaps, a provisional legislature, staffed by KMT representatives from both controlled and contested territories, will take over legislative responsibilities from the Central Committee. Absolutely, positively. Come on, and you're done. Well, and there goes the Entente. Canadian Commonwealth declared war on the Union of Britain. Oh boy. You probably pull back a little bit. So. Interesting. You know what? I really don't want to get involved in this. I really don't. Huey Long is probably going to die. That's a case. You know what? We could see. I, I've heard that this could happen. If the American Union state dies and the Pacific states and the United States are there together, there might be a chance where they could peacefully reunite the United States. Which is really cool, which is something I kind of want to see potentially happen. If these guys could peacefully come back together to reform the country. I think that would be amazing. Nice encirclement, guys. Nice job. Are you... Oh, awesome. 1940. Hello, 1940. Hope you're having a great year, everyone. It's 1940 now. If you did here. If you help attack, would you win? Maybe. Guns. Or, oh, wait. Interwar fighters. Let's get rid of that for better fighters. I'm fine with that. That's totally cool with me. Over here. Nice. Another 100 fighters. Awesome. Not much, but it'll do. Oh, and you guys are probably good on... Oh, maybe not. Maybe you're not so good yet. Let the time go on as fast as possible for now. More guns. More artillery. Guns and artillery. Let's go ahead and improve our popular support. More stability and more war support. That sounds like a good idea to me. It only takes 50 days. Awesome. Good job, guys. 
You killed off those people down there, which is great. Um, now what? Um, they kind of abandoned the line, which is kind of nice. Do they still have enemy planes? They do have just a few enemy planes around here, which is fine. There's really not much that we can do. Go ahead and come down here. Maybe we can circle this one tile. At least until we can go to war with uh, Hunan. Ah, coffee's good stuff. 1940 stuff includes a little bit of artillery. Not super important, though. Infantry stuff? That's very, very important. Wow, your strength is incredibly low, guys. Quite incredibly low. Where's the other division? There's one here getting attacked, but... Oh, there we go. Well, doesn't really matter. We can continue building more stuff up, which is nice. Um, civilian factories. Shinan. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do... You're already building up Dom Ming, so we'll do that as well. Put you both at the top. That'd be cool. And you all get ready to go and invade. Uh, sorry, Spain. I have other obligations right now. Go ahead and move on in. And go crazy. And unite Southern China. Awesome. Well, I couldn't do the focus for that, but I don't really care. Everyone, please move in as fast as possible. You know, I try to, actually, I like, I try to, you know, increase my reputation with them, but they never really liked me. They never really did. They're, they're still unaligned. They didn't even go to anyone else. Kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. I might take out McLeek, if they don't want to join us. Good, good, good. Do we, we should have air superiority. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Pretty good. Da Ming's coming along. Artillery's looking okay. Guns? We're almost out of our deficit of guns, which is really nice. Come on, guys. Keep moving in. Oh, you're really not moving in? Just go ahead and move in. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, Princely Federation's looking okay. Dominion of India. What else is going on? Spain, you're slowly... Maybe not doing as well? Maybe not? Maybe? Maybe you're doing better. I don't know. I haven't really been paying attention. I would like to see, though, how the Reichspact is doing in the war. Oh, volunteer forces. Well, you'll be sent back probably soon enough. Um, good. Do that. Cheng Sha. Nicaragua is annexed, as well as the Socialist Republic of Honduras. Very good. Cheng Di. Cheng Dei. Seems like someone was just liberated. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah, the American United States really not feeling good. Oh, look at that. Central American Republic. That's cool. Yeah, I hate getting sandwiched. This is why I don't... I've not yet played as American Union State on my channel, because this can happen, and I really hate it when this happens. Oh, that's a really weird American Union State, though. <laughs> ah, Hunan, thank you. Thank you for playing. And the Republic of China looks so much better now. Holy cow. This is just in case. Just in case. You never know what might happen. And we're at peace now. Uh, I don't want to declare war on these guys because they they like us. So let's not piss them off too much. Go back to Spain. See what we can help them out with. Two more divisions still can only be sent. Send air volunteers. That's fine. They're going back immediately. You guys in Chongqing. Head on over here. You guys are doing a great job. To Madrid, and I can throw in like 30 more bombers. Which we're really only at 25. This will have to do. Let them deploy. Oh, wait. 20. 30. 35 we can send. I only have 25. That's fine. But that settles the Hunan question. Now we can add Hunan to our tasty list of things to eat Hunan chicken. Rally public support. Improve our support. Okay, oh, wait, Greece was lend-leasing us? I don't remember that. Oh, we need some more support equipment. That's alright. We'll make some more. We will. We'll make a lot of things if we have to. We'll make a lot of things. A lot of infrastructure, a lot of factories, a lot of good stuff. Provisional, legislative, yon. Very good. Very good. We definitely want to get down here. It takes 50 more days to secure the northwest. Ah, uh, 
Ethnic Autonomous Regions Unitary Government. I like Ethnic Autonomous Regions, but... Unitary Government sounds like fun. Wait, wait, wait. So, I have chosen Ethnic Autonomous Regions. Oh. Agencies are getting nervous about your erratic government? Yeah, it's going to be erratic. This is probably a bad idea, but I want to do this anyways. Whether it's by class or by ethnicity, the last thing China needs is more division and splintering. In order to better pursue the interests of all the people of China in these turbulent times, a strong and centralized state is needed to safeguard our young republic against reactionary forces. This is probably the wrong decision to take, but I don't care. We'll see what happens anyways. You find out there's going to be like two or three more Chinas that pop out of me that in revolt. Oh, that'd be so bad. Ah, oh, motorized. Pretty good. Get that next. And then we'll start focusing a little bit more on tanks, or maybe more of an air force. Maybe more of an air force. Because as long as you got enough air power, you'll do okay. For the most part. Let's industrialize Shandong next. Alright, Divisions, you were literally just here a few weeks ago under Fawn, and he's back. Come down here. Thank you very much. Do that. Thank you. And really, not much has changed. So, totally cool with me. I really don't want to get involved in the Second Valkyrie. There's no real point for me to. However, Russia wants to go to war with Germany. I'm not opposed to that. And I'm not going to help the Americans just because, well, I could help any. Really, the American Union is here, the Pacific States. But if the Pacific States win, I might send support to them. If they have to fight the federal government, I might do that. But first, Spain. Uh, do we have our planes here? We have both of our planes. Great. They're doing a little bit of damage. We're getting. An okayish amount of air XP, too. Very nice. And the Russians are still here. Good. Good for you, Russia. Good for you. Did we create more soldiers or something? We have 29 Coast Guard divisions. You guys are never made, though. Oh, we just need more artillery. Yeah, we need a ton of artillery. Yeah, make more artillery. Eat more chicken. Oh, we need more resources. God dang it. Um, coming to France? No thanks. Hungary! Yes, Hungary. Illyria. Actually, you know what? I'm not supporting anyone in the American Civil War, but I want goods. That's all I'm going to say about that. And we need to make some factories. More factories of stuff. Oh, good. Good. Is anyone here? Can I win here? Should I be able to win here? I should be able to win here, right? You guys are not bad. You're 20 combat width. Oh, you're not great, though. You're just big, regular 20... Oh, yeah, you're probably... You're... Oh, you might win. Maybe not. And I know I sent the Air Force towards more up north, but whatever. They're still, they, they need those guys up there. But we have some, another division. Great. Great. Throw you, right? Oh, I don't know. Here against these fellas. I can't click on you guys. What the heck? Uh, there you go. Go join them in not exercising anymore. Good. Dig in. Dig in, boys and girls. Or Do we allow women in our military? I don't think so yet. I don't think so. Not good. Not good. Not good. Invest more. Industrialize. Oh. We can only do one state at a time. So be it. That's fine. Keep building. Keep building. You know what? I want more civilian factories now. Because since I can build stuff up. More, 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 more. Alright. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot the Helvetic communes in the Third International. That's true. Let's take a quick look and see the wars. Uruguayan Albanian War, 158,000, almost 700,000, 1.32 million. God, guys. Wow, Union of Britain, you've lost a lot. Holy smokerinos. And we're about to win here. Ooh, another division, good. Finish off that army a little bit more. That'd be nice. Good job, good job. Now this tile is surrounded. You're organized. You're an organizer. And good enough. Go ahead and help him out. There's only one militia division there. Very good. Not bad. Oh. Oh, hello. Wait, what? Wait, what? Canada? Commonwealth of Canada has literally invaded Cornwall. Dutchies and have given up to the Japanese. American Unity has spawned some divisions in West Virginia. Oh, the road's taking me home in West Virginia. Uh, you all? Good, that army's done. 95, 96, come on. And, oh, they're dead. Nice. Mix up, right here. There you go. Awesome. Stats. 
just need more factories. That's pretty much all we need. I can get that. Oh, actually, let's get some of this. Well, it's going to be a while before we make any motorized, but that's okay. What are we building? I want at least two runs of civilian factories at all times. At least that much. Oh, 100%. Oh, my goodness, yes. Build, 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 build. You guys are here. That's nice. Take those horses down. Another division. Very nice. Throw you right here. Come on, I want to finish this up. The unitary government, which is probably not good for me to do at all. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Actually, which one is led by Zhang Ju Tzu Tu Wei? Not Zhang. There's all sorts. Oh, there it is. Oh, the KMT Zong Te Ju. Oh, they're totalists. Oh. Oh. Okay. I, I, no. Totalism is a fun ideology, everyone. It's a real fun ideology. Real interesting. Nothing ever goes wrong with totalism. Never. Never. Rally public support. Good. One strong centralized state. it would be one heck of a weird campaign where we start off with... Was it social democracy we started with? We started off with... Radical socialists. Now we're social democracy. We got unitary government. Oh! We only had to choose these. Dies coup. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this one probably. Let's go ahead and do secure the Northwest because I really want to see what I can do with these guys, especially Mokli. The provinces of Zib Zibai and Xinjiang have up until now largely been treated as personal fiefdoms by which whatever warlords presently happen to be reigning over those lands. Bringing these provinces back into the fold should be a top priority. And I will end the episode once we finish this uh, focus. Hopefully there's no, like, coup for us. Ooh, we're very popular. There's no coup to institute, institute totalism into our government. That wouldn't be very good. Ooh, modern art of war. Can I industrialize? No. We have another 13 days. More divisions are being made. Great. Great. Ooh, that did hurt our pop party popularity just a wee bit. Awesome. Not bad. Not bad, guys. Next up. A little bit of lag, as you can probably tell. Let's take out this division here. Force them down south. Or, or tell you move that way immediately. Okay, come on, game. Okay, I know you're a little laggy. We got a little bit of that lagathon going on. Continue army reforms. Integrate. Yeah, that'll take time. But I've got enough manpower for now. Oh, good. We took it. Could you do this? Go down here and just take the port. Good. Our finest hour, what a childish fantasy. I read this every single time. I don't want to read it this time for the finest hour. If you want to read it for yourself, there you go. Oh, good. There's a division. Oh, shnikes. We got encircled. Well, hopefully that cavalry division can get us some supplies. Maybe we should be getting some supplies here. Very nice. Good, 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 good. You know what? These guys are encircled anyways. I'm going to let that infantry dude division do whatever it can to kick these guys out. Mm -hmm. These guys should be organizing to kill these guys off, so it's just a matter of waiting. Hopefully. Uh, Italy's been invaded twice. Already, so be it. Good. Good. Oh, my goodness. Industrialize. Still integrate. Uh, Beijing, it's your turn. Some more civilian factories? Yes, please. Build, build, build. More military factories, please. 30%. Good. Secure the Northwest is coming along. Very nice. And its division was encircled and destroyed. You guys, yeah, they're just kind of hanging out. Another division to throw it to the north. Good. But for now, there, I don't have to deal with you. I would love the Hui Brigades, though. But I need my clique under me. Let's see. Can we see any more planes here? Oh, a little bit, actually. Not bad. Not bad. Cool. You guys... Probably could be better used somewhere else. Well, maybe not. Could you win here with these guys? You might be able to. Yeah. Yep. 
Not bad. Bohemia is still looking pretty good. America is... Yeah, they're killing the American Union State. That's really disappointing if you supported Huey Long in this campaign. But the federal government's doing really well. They did really well when Canada did not eat up New England. So, if you ever play in Canada, maybe don't eat New England and see what happens. Oh, they even took Detroit. They almost have Chicago, too. Oh, Huey Long, you had such a chance. Oh, well. Uh, Pacific States, this is probably the best I've seen the Pacific States do as well. When Huey Long and the federal government focus on taking out the CSA, not bad. Not bad. Even after I gave him some guns, too. So, when do we get Mickey Mouse as leader of the Pacific States? Expand. At first, I thought this said expand the wives. I'm like, how do you expand wives? I mean, they can get bigger, but, but no, it's expand the waves. Um, push. You don't share a border with him yet. Hmm. Huey Long has it against the feds, and you guys have it, well, against... You you guys really hate each other. You're not even touching each other yet. What the heck? Alright, how's our deficit looking? Really bad still. Really flipping bad. Holy cow. Yeah, I need to just make a ton of factories. Both civilian and military goods. Let's grab a little bit more aluminum. Wait a second. Commonwealth. Yeah, you're still the same flag for some reason. Oh, wait, you didn't even take Alaska. Oh, my goodness. Wait, and Hawaii. You're independent, but uh, you're part of the Entente. All right, David. Cool. Oh, you're on Scraping the Barrel, you, and you have two divisions. That's kind of interesting. All right, how's this going? How's this looking? Well, we've kind of helped expand a little bit. Can we attack this base, perhaps? Only one division here. And secure the Northwest. Restore sovereignty. Advance on Tibet. I kind of like that. Oh, but I do want to... Oh, I need more consumer goods. So, land use tax. The concept of a land value or land use tax has been a policy dar darling of the progressive reformers worldwide and is most associated with the economic theories of Henry George. Since the earliest days of the KMT, the land use tax has been unanimously approved by the party and its legal implementation will ensure both a continual source of income and a passive means of fighting wealth accumulation because... Why not? Cool. And now, we're going to see and do warlord negotiations before we finish here. I know this is a long video. I know it is. But still. With the collapse of the League of Eight Provinces, Southern China has been dropped into total anarchy. Not anymore, though. Any alliances between these warlord cliques or rebel governments are fragile, but they could be necessary in order to stave off one threat as to focus on another. So, my clique, would you like to join us in China, in the Republic of China? I would be surprised if they say no, because they they're aligned towards us. Now, I don't know what's going to happen in Mongolia or Tibet if they align with us. But I would be surprised if they say no. But I'm ready if they say no. I'm ready. Oh, regain? Did they not say? After the disastrous failure of the Northern Expedition. Secure Frontier. Wow, the subordinate right-wing faction found refuge. Oh, we read this before in a couple provinces. I want to say, maybe they said no. Maybe they told me no. You know what? After 14 days, get wave of KMT sabotage activities. Preparing attack against us. I'm going to have to do that. You say no to me. You said no. We got guns. Yeah, you're on the line now. Okay, I have to go to war with them. But anyways, guys, that's where we're going to end here. I know it's a long video. I want to see if McLeek would say yes, but obviously they said no. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we go to war with McLeek. And maybe help Spain finish their civil war as well. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.